how many of us have heard of those whom out on their honeymoon they're busy texting or sexting someone else and that's supposed to be a honeymoon it's a reality when we talk about marriage and relationships hey yo what's up everybody welcome back to our channel it's your boy jesse keegan and we are funny and jesse so right about now we're gonna do another reaction video and this one right here was suggested by a lot of people but before we get into the reaction guys i want to thank everybody who has been subscribing to our channel you guys are really amazing and uh, it's so sad that what is happening today in the world is so sickening uh, as you're watching this video there's so much that is happening today as we speak days are what we call the world war three where the the united states have um, threatened to uh, probably attack iran if they retaliate or something like that i think every, everything is on the news you can just go watch it and also another thing guys in australia it's burning crazy like super super crazy a lot of animals are dying and i was reading an article the other day it was saying that billions of animals are dying uh the kangaroos and you know all these animals man and it's so sad we've come to a point where things are happening like this i don't know it's, it's, it's so sickening anyway guys so right about now we're gonna do another reaction video and this one right here was suggested by a lot of people it suggested that we should go react to those who really want to marry their girlfriends yeah so without any further ado guys let's get it a relationship with a third party please be honest please come out clear to your parents to everyone else to say you know what I am having a relationship with another person and I won't be able to consider this because the biggest punishment and I'm saying this based on based on what comes to me in terms of queries and those who seek help the biggest sin is when you're marrying someone knowing that you are involved with someone else and people are doing it to please their parents. It is a disease. I'm sure a lot of you know exactly what I'm talking about. So my beloved parents, don't push your children to the degree that you've, you've issued a death sentence to someone else's daughter or to someone's son when your daughter or son was involved with a third party and you blocked it, squashed it, and sometimes the way you dealt with it, they didn't even have the courage or the guts to let you know that there was something else going on. How many of us have heard of those whom out on their honeymoon, they're busy texting or sexting someone else. And that's supposed to be a honeymoon. It's a reality. When we talk about marriage and relationships in this day and age, we have to raise these issues because if we don't, who is going to raise them? So my beloved parents, you are a criminal if you've done that. Criminal. And I promise you that would be so bad because you have messed up and ruined the life of an innocent child. Someone else, you've ruined their lives to the degree that you don't even realize they could have been happier with someone else and they would have been happier had they not even been married. So this is why we say the first step, just be honest. You come forth and you say, you know what? Unfortunately or fortunately, whatever it is, I'm not interested here. I'm involved somewhere else. I'm interested in the third party. My parents are forcing it on me. And now we have a bigger problem where the guy says, yeah, I know that they're forcing you, but I don't care. I don't mind. It's fine. What are you talking about? I've come across such cases, whether it's for immigration purposes, whatever other purpose it is. Wallahi, this is criminal behavior. This is absolutely unacceptable. It is against the, the basic rights of a child to choose the spouse. It's a basic right. You're never allowed to impose a decision of who to marry as a parent. That's not a right that Allah has given you. What? All right. Wow. Such a short message, but really um, has a lot of weight in there. Uh, he talks about, uh, I think this is Mufti Menk or something. He talks about um, parents who impose marriage to their daughters or probably their sons to, I mean, pushing them to marry. You get it. Um, I don't think uh, that should be 
a thing. Actually, in this day or day or life that we're living in today, I think it shouldn't be something that should be imposed. Let, I mean, it's a basic right. Just like the way he just said, it's a basic right. Somebody has to choose. Like, I want to be with that person over there. And it should be her own decision, not your decision. I think our parents make a lot of mistakes. They think that you... You okay? I I understand that parents they really want to see you in a they want to see you in the hands of a good person and whatnot. But at the end of the day, how are you sure that this is a good person? It's not like just because he got money, just because he's coming from a good family, doesn't mean that he is a good person. Most of the people who come from these rich families and maybe a good families, their sons and daughters probably sometimes are really. Uh, you know, reckless and uh, responsible. You get it. So let your daughter, let your son just choose what he wants to to be with, because he has a first hand experience. He he has the first hand uh, look, because he's the one who's dealing with that person, and he 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 feels it in his heart that this is the type of person I want to be with. But not to you as a parent to decide that I want you to be with this person, because at the end of the day, who's gonna go in in the house? with uh, that daughter or that woman or that man that your your, your son or daughter is, is, is marrying is, is actually a daughter and your son that is going to go in there, not to you. So I feel the message is really clear. Uh, don't impose your son or daughter into marriage, especially, I mean, daughters, especially daughters. But I think this goes much in the Muslim community because it's, it's, it's far on that side because in the maybe Christian community I think people have choices people have I mean it's it's the basic right to go in there and to, to go out there and choose for themselves who they want to be with and uh, they bring to the parents and the parents still be happy that okay this is the person that you've chose we're happy for you if he is a good person or if she is a good person then we have no um, say to uh, to actually reject your your decision, and I think that's a good thing, and I think that's a good decision. I mean, that's how it should be, and yeah, this is such an amazing message. I think everybody have learned one or two things on this message right here. If you feel like I reacted to this video in a better way, just give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to go down my comment section, tell me exactly what you feel about my reaction and what you feel about this video. Just let me know in the comment section below. Do you think your parents should decide for you? Or do you think that you should be able to decide for yourself who you want and which one is normally the best? Uh, I mean, okay, I know there are some rare cases that parents choose for their children or for their daughter and they end up being in a lovely marriage I mean but those are rare cases but in the most cases I mean especially in this world we live in today uh, people end up divorcing and people end up not being together that's why you find people going out of wedlock um, going to marry other women out there cheating on their wives or on their husbands and whatnot but anyway just let me know in the comment section what do you think just give me your own opinion and I'll be there to just look at your comments and whatnot here yeah, and the most important thing guys don't forget to subscribe to our channel the more you keep on subscribing the more you give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give you better better content and last but not the least i'm gonna see you in the next video or rather we're gonna see you in the next video and peace out